So 
Ano po? Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas sa ato. At talaga yung pakiramdam ng Christmas. So, gusto po i-welcome naman ang aking pamangkin si Bianca. Uh, ito yung aming uh, panganay na anak. <laughs> okay. At si Mama, siyempre. No? So, Merry Christmas po, brothers and sisters. Salamat po sa pag-tune in ngayong gabi. Alam ko, uh, naging masaya ang inyong mga salo-salo sa uh, Christmas Eve. Kaya, I'm sure, uh, busog lahat at nag-enjoy lahat. Masaya, no? Okay, so... Um, Mag-recap lang po tayo konti doon sa mensahe natin last week about the messengers of the Messiah. So, napag-usapan po natin, marami pong naging messengers ang Panginoon, di ba? So, nung napanganak si Jesus, may angels, no, na nagsabi na napanganak na nga si Jesus at kailangan na mag-rejoice. Tapos, may dumating na mga heavenly hosts na mga umaawit, no? At sinabihan, yung mga shepherds na na ipanganak na ang Savior. Yan. So, tapos after some days, no, na, 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 kita rin natin, nabasa rin natin na si Simeon uh, ay uh, nagpunta sa temple led by the Holy Spirit para makita si Jesus dahil siya ay uh, is circumcised. Ano? And uh, yun nga, sabi ni Simeon na, Lord, pwede na akong mamatay kasi nakita ko na yung salvation. At nandun din si Prophet Anna, no, na nag-testify na ito nga ang Messiah, si Jesus. Yan. And then, some days later, or dumating din ang mga wise men na nagbigay ng mga gifts no, para sa ating um, uh, Panginoong Jesus. So, these messengers were duly sent by the Lord to inform everyone na ito na ang uh, day of deliverance dahil nandito na po ang Savior, Messiah, the ang pangalan ay Lord Jesus. No? He will be the ruler and He will shepherd His people, sabi doon. No? So, alam niyo po mga brothers and sisters, sobrang saya po ng mga tao noon. No? Sobrang saya nila itong mga messengers na to ay talagang pumunta sa, nagbalita sa mga tao rin na dumating na nga ang Messiah. So, they We're all amazed and they rejoice and they praise the Lord, no? So, pinag-usapan din natin last week that we too can be messengers of the Lord Jesus. Kasi po, marami pa pong hindi nakakilala sa Panginoong Jesus as the Messiah or as the Lord and Savior. Kaya marapat lamang po na tayo po na nakakaalam na at nakaka-experience na sa ating Panginoong Jesus ay maging messengers din of this good news. Tama po ba? No, so anong sabi natin last time na dan? Let's be messengers to tell tell people mm-hmm. must know about the word. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we should tell the people because the people must know about the word who became flesh and dwelt among us, no? Ito nga, no. Ano pa, Aaron? Teach the wonders. Teach the wonders that the Lord has done. See, tumira po si Jesus on earth, di ba? He dwelt among us at talagang marami siyang pinagaling, marami siyang pinalaya, yung mga demon possess. He even raised some people to de- from the dead, di ba? Ang galing po talaga ng Panginoon. So, those are the wonders that the Lord has done. No? Ano pa, Arvin? Testify mm-hmm. the work of the Lord. Testify about the work of the Lord. The people must know of the grace of the Lord. No, He came to die for our sins so that we are forgiven, redeemed, justified, reconciled to the Father. So, meron na po tayong access sa Panginoong Ama all because of what the Lord Jesus has done. And anong sabi natin na last month? Transform. Hmm. No, the word of believing in the Lord Jesus. Mm-hmm. Oo, sabi nga ni Paul, ano? Nothing can outweigh the surpassing worth of knowing the Lord Jesus. No? Gusto niyo po ma-experience yun? Yung uh, sinasabi ni Paul na wala pong katulad pag nakilala po natin ang Panginoon. Walang katulad ang kapayapan, kaligayahan, no? at lakas na lang gagaling lamang po sa Panginoon. No? 
Dahil sa ginawa ng Panginoong Jesus, we have become children of God. We have become the righteousness of God in Christ and uh, co-heirs with Christ. And we have the Holy Spirit. Yan po yung ating uh, summary ng last week. No? So ngayon gabi, ang pag-usapan naman natin, yung God's love. No? Marami na po tayong narinig tungkol sa God's love. Ano? Pero dahil Christmas Day po ngayon, no? kailangan mag-reflect muna po tayo tungkol sa God's love. Pero bago yan, kailangan natin na i-reflect sandali. Ano ba ang istorya ng Panginoon at ang tao? No? So mababasa natin yung account ni Noah doon sa Genesis 6. Sige nga, Arvin, pakibasa naman. Oh. Genesis 6. When human beings began to increase in number on the earth and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of humans were beautiful, and they married any of them they chose. Then the Lord said, My spirit will not contend with humans forever, for they are mortal. Their days will be a hundred and twenty years. The Lord saw how great the wickedness of the human race had become on earth, and that every inclination of the thoughts of the human heart was only evil all the time. The Lord regretted that He made He had made human beings on the earth, and His great in His heart was deeply troubled. So the Lord said, "I will wipe from the face of the earth the human race I have created." And with them, the animals, the birds, and the creatures that move along the ground. For I regret that I have made them. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Wow. Thank you, Arvin. So, nagkaroon pala po ang pagka- ng pagkakataon na nagsisi po ano, ang Panginoon. Bakit ko pa create itong humans na ito? Puro naman kasalanan ng ginagawa. Mo yan. So sabi niya, the Lord regretted that he made human beings and his heart was deeply troubled. Talagang nag po yung Panginoon sa sobrang nakikita na ng kasalanan ng mga tao. To the point nga na pinagsisihan niya, na create pa niya ang tao. At ito nag-decide siya that he will wipe the human race. Pero may magandang balita, Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. So anong nangyari dito, Gerald, sa Genesis 7-7? Uh, the Lord said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and your whole family, because I have found you righteous in this generation. Take with you seven pairs of, any, of every kind of clean animal, a male and its mate, and one pair of every kind of unclean animal, a male and its mate. And also seven pairs of every kind of every bird, of bird, male and female, to keep their various kinds alive throughout the earth. Um, seven days from now, I will send rain on the earth for forty days and forty nights, and I will wipe the face of the earth every living creature I've made. And Noah did all the Lord commanded him. Mm-hmm. So pinagawa ng panginoon si Noah ng ark. At ito nga sa Genesis seven seven, sabi niya o sige, pumasok na kayo sa ark. Kasi magpapaulan ako ng 40 days and 40 nights para ma-wipe ang lahat ng creatures na aking ginawa. Wow. Napakasad naman ang story natin on a Christmas day. <laughs> Introduction lang po ito, brothers and sisters. Huwag muna kayo malungkot. Gusto lang natin i-demonstrate na nagkaroon din ng pagkakataon na nagsisi ang Panginoon at ito nga ang kanyang naging move na i-wipe yung mga tao sa pamamagitan ng flood. Ano? So for 40 days and 40 nights, nagkaroon po ng flood and every living thing na natira na wala sa loob ng ark ay namatay. The waters flooded the earth for 150 days. Oh, no, isang araw lang, nakita ko yung Malaysia, ano po, kung nabal- nakita nyo. Four days lang po na ulan yun, na diretso, nabahana sila, no? Uh, 
more than na uh, yung mga truck na yung height nung ano, yung tao na yung height ng uh, flood, no? Kasi hindi naman po na-flood talaga yung Malaysia, hindi nga nag-earthquake doon. So, after 50 years yata, ulit nagkaroon ng flood. So, 4 days lang yun. So, how about 40 days and 40 nights and the waters flooded the earth. Nag-rain ng 40 days and 40 nights, ano? At hindi nagsusay yung tubig, the waters flooded the earth for 150 days. Five months po. No? Na-submerge ang buong mundo. No? At namatay nga po lahat. But, sa Genesis 8, anong nakalagay doon, Bianca? Um, but God remembered Noah and all the wild animals and the livestock that were with him in the ark. And he sent a, a wind over the earth and the waters received. Then God okay. said to Noah, Come out of the ark, you and your wife and your sons and their wives. Bring out every kind of living creature that is with you, the birds, the animals, and all the creatures that move along the ground, so they can multiply on the earth and be fruitful and increase in number on it. Mm. So ngayon, muntik nang nakalimutan si Noah. <laughs> But God remembered Noah. No? At yun, sabi niya, okay, sige. Labas na kayo at uh, mag-multiply na. No? So, ito na naman. Ang multiply na naman. Ang uh, generation ni Noah, yung mga anak, nag-asawa, produce. So, dumami na naman po yung tao. At uh, hindi ko na po makikukwento lahat kung anong nangyari. But, despite man's wickedness, no, hindi na po ipapanish ng Panginoon ang mankind. Dahil nangako po siya. Now, doon sa Genesis 8.20, hindihan anong sinabi ni Lord uh, nung nag-offer si Noah. Then Noah built an altar to the Lord and taking some of the clean animals and clean birds, he sacrificed burnt offerings on it. And when the Lord smelled the pleasing aroma, the Lord said in his heart, I will never curse the ground because of, of man. For the intention of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither I will I ever ever again strike down every living creature as I have done. As long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night will never cease. Mm, yun. <laughs> so, meron pong pangako yung Panginoon. No? So, sinabi niya nga na, Talagang ganito na talaga ang man. Ano? ano parang wala ang pag-asang magbago. So, sabi niya, but anyway, hindi ko na uulitin ang pag-erase, ang pag-wipe out sa mankind. Sabi niya, by flood. No? Hindi, hindi niya daw, I will not strike down every living creature as I have done. Sabi niya dito sa Genesis 8. No? So, fast forward, marami pong nangyari, no? Marami nang naging pamilya si na ano, si na Noah, no? At uh, yun lang, no? Kasama ng kanilang pagdami ay ganun din ang, ang kasalanan, no? Hindi natapos, no? Patuloy pa rin ang kasalanan na nangyari. So, God sent many prophets, uh, God anointed many people like daw uh, sina Saul, sina David, sina Jacob. Maraming pinaburan din ng Panginoon ng mga tao, no? He was with with these people. God okay. sent many prophets tuwing magkakaroon ng gulo, no? Magpapadala na naman si Lord ng mensahe. Ito lahat ginawa niya para lang sana magbago yung mga tao. Pero wala pong nangyari kahit may prophet And then, sabi niya, sige, magpadala ako ng law from Moses naman. So, pinadala yung law. O, para alam nyo, ang gagawin nyo para hindi kayo magkasala. No? Pero wala pa rin pong makagawa. So, napansin nyo, God also tried His best to win yung people sana by uh, sending prophets, sending the law. No? Pero, hirap eh. Hindi po kaya ng tao na hindi magkasala. So, man continues to sin against him because man's heart is wicked. 
it's hard for a man to change his ways no matter what he does. Dahil nga po yan sa original sin. Diba? Yung kay Adam po, because of one man, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. At yun nga nakita ng Panginoon, ang puso ng tao, parang ang hirap magbago on his own effort. On his own effort. Sabi nga dun sa Mark 7, 21-23, uh, Aaron, anong uh, mababasa natin? For from within, out of the heart of man, come evil thoughts, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, coveting, wickedness, deceit, sensuality, envy, slander, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and they defile a person. Oh, yun, no? Yung kasalanan, kasama eh, no? Kasama natin. So, ano ngayon ang solusyon? No? So, God is just. Hindi tayo makalapit sa Kanya kasi makasalanan tayo. Hindi, hindi naman niya tayo pwedeng tanggapin kasi just nga siya, no? That's Him. So, hindi naman niya pwedeng aksipin lang yung ating mga ginagawang kasalanan. No? So, anong ginawa niya? Naging silent po ang Panginoon for 400 plus years. No po? Naging silent. Pero bago niya ginawa yung silence na yan, nagbigay siya ng mensahe kay Isaiah at uh, para i-reveal kung ano ang magiging sign that one day, there will be deliverance. Sa ano yun mo? Sa Isaiah 7, 13-14. Here now, you house of David, it is not enough to try the patience of humans. Will you try the patience of my God also? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. A virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. Yon. So, alam natin ang meaning ng Emmanuel, di ba? God with us. So, yung God na nakatingin, looking down on earth, no? Ito na ang bago niyang plano. He wants to be with us. He wants to be with us. At yun nga, nagkatotoo po that a virgin conceived the Messiah. No. So, nabasa po natin yan sa Luke 1.6. Maalala nyo yung topic natin tungkol kay Mary that um, may pumunta kay Mary na angel at nagsabi, You will conceive in your womb and bear a son and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever and his kingdom will have no end. No? So nabasa natin sumunod, how can this be? Sabi ni Mary, since I am a virgin. So ito na yung prenophesy ni, ni, ano, ni Isaiah that a virgin will conceive a son. No? Yan. At uh, yun nga po ang sabi ng angel, the spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. At anong sabi ni Mary? Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done unto me according to your word. So, ito na po. So, sabi ng Lord, paano ko ba ma makaka-reconcile, mapapalapit sa mga tao? No? Ito na. So, He came into the world and He became flesh and made his dwelling among us. So, mababasa natin yan sa John 1. So, biruin mo, the God who was there from the beginning, no, the God whom all things were made through Him and nothing was made without Him. Eto na, magkakatawang tao pupunta dito sa mundo so that He can be with us. Wow. 
no talagang uh, ang hirap maarok kung minsan pero alam niyo po sasabihin ko na naman na tayo yung napaka-blessed na generation because we know the story we know the story from birth to the sacrifice on the cross to the resurrection sabi ng Lord no dati sa law okay mga tao you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul and with all your strength meron po bang nakagawa wala eh no? meron ba even si David even si David who is said to be a man after God's own heart no wala pong nakagawa since no one can love God with all his heart, his soul and his strength. Ako na ang magmamahal, sabi ng Panginoon. Sabi niya ipapadala ko yung anak ko. Na that so ever believe in him will not perish and will have eternal life. Ipapakita ko sa tao kung paano ba ang magmahal. No. So instead of asking them to love me with all their heart, soul, and strength, I will be the one to love them with all my heart, soul, and strength. Kasi nga, nagkatawang tao ang Panginoon. Paano ba magmahal ang Panginoon with all his heart, soul, and strength? So he has to come as a human para maipakita niya kung paano ba ang magmahal. Ang galing po, ano? So, walang makagawa yung you shall, eh. You shall, you shall love, love. You shall. Lahat sa Ten Commandments, you shall. Wala pong makakaya, no? So, God said, okay, I will. I will love you with all my heart, soul, and strength. Wow. There's no greater love than this. Di ba po, brothers and sisters? Sabi nga po dun sa John 15:13, no, no greater love than this than to lay your life for his friend, for your friends. At sabi ng Panginoong Yesus, we are his friends and he laid down his life for us. Ganun daw po ang pagmamahal ng Diyos sa atin. Kaya niyang ibigay ang kanyang anak para sa atin. The great God who made everything, magkakatawang tao. The Creator became a parang creation. Ano? Si yung creator na tao. Napakahambol ng Panginoon. Yung love niya talaga sa atin. Sombra, sombra, sombra. So sana po ito po yung ating nararamdaman ngayong Pasko, mga kapatid. Ang pag-ibig ng Panginoon na hindi natin makomprehend, no? Sobra po yung pagmamahal ng Panginoon sa ating lahat, no? He loves us with all He is. Wow. Wow. Di ba dapat nagre-rejoice tayo? Nalok. <laughs> so, yun, yun po sana yung aling sinaselebrate ngayong Christmas, brothers and sisters. The love of the Lord. So, hindi niya na sinasabing, you shall love me. But sinasabi niya sa atin, I will love you. I will love you. At yung mga kasalanan po natin, no? Dahil po sa ginawa ng Panginoong Jesus on the cross, we have become the righteousness of God in Christ. Ang ibig pong sabihin, ang nakikita ng Panginoong Ama ay yung sacrifice ng Panginoong Jesus tuwing tayo ay nagkakasala. Kaya sana po, no, matanggap po natin ang Panginoong Yesus sa ating buhay. Kasi yung po, yung kanyang ipinunta dito, no, si Yesus mismo ang nag-reveal ng katotohanan that for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but will have eternal life. Napakaraming regalo ng Panginoon aside from love. No? Sabi nga natin, no, we are redeemed, justified, reconciled to the Father. We have been given the Holy Spirit. We can call God Abba Father. No, we are co-heirs with Christ and we will share in His glory. 
balang araw. At alam niyo po, brothers and sisters, while we reflect on the love of the Lord this Christmas, lagi rin po nating isipin na wala rin pong makapaghihiwalay sa atin sa pagmamahal ng Diyos. Sinabi po yan sa Romans 8. Basahin nga natin. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels nor demons, neither present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Hindi po ba napaka- Comforting yun. It's really our reason to rejoice this Christmas that God so, so, so love us and nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Wow. So, anong response natin? I think very simple lang po. No? We have to rejoice and celebrate God's love this Christmas. At ang nag-uumapaw po na pag-ibig ng Panginoon, sana mag-umapaw din sa puso ng bawat isa upang mag-overflow at we can also love others. We can love God and we can love others because God loved us first. So yun lang po yung ating mensahe, no po? Brothers and sisters, God loves you. God loves us all. And that's more than enough reason to celebrate Christmas. Amen. So, amen. So, Merry Christmas, brothers and sisters. And, um, kantahin natin yung joy to the world at talagang uh, namnamin natin yung uh, rejoicing and praising and thanksgiving unto the Lord because there's no greater love that we can experience than the love of the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Merry Christmas po!
Christmas! Merry Christmas!